Welcome back. We're now going to look at some special customizing functions for managing fleet objects. We start by assigning view profile and equipment categories to fleet object types. The customizing path is SPRO. Then to plant maintenance and customer service. Master data in plant maintenance and customer service. Technical objects. Then to settings for fleet management. And then to assign view profile and equipment categories to fleet object types. So once to, we get to this screen here, all we need to do is to add fleet object type, text, and then the view profile. The tab pages for this view profile will be displayed in addition to the tab pages for equipment view profile. So, and this is how we create a new entry. We go to new entries. We enter the object type. And sometimes you might have that in that drop down list here, if that has been created. Then you have the text and the view profile. The next thing that we need to define is the consumable types. And again, that is under settings for fleet management. And uh, we go to define consumable types. So we have our fluid types here. This is a fluid type and then we can go ahead and type the description of the fluid type here. The next thing that we need to customize is the usage types. That is define usage types for fleet objects. So all we need to do here is to enter the usage indicator and then the text, that is the descriptive text. So for new entries, again, we go to new entries. We enter our usage indicator and the text. And that is all we need to do to define usage types. The next thing that we need to do is to make settings for units of measurements for monitoring of consumption. So we're going to go back to settings for fleet management and then to make settings for units of measurements for monitoring of consumption. And right here we need to enter the unit of consumption and here is the descriptive text. And we can also go to this sub function here, which is definition of valid consumption units. So where we define what those units are. So we go ahead and double click on that. And right here, MPG will be miles per gallon. So we can make that description here and we can add other entries. You can assign any number of units here. The next thing that we need to do is to define special measurement positions for fleet objects. So we go back to settings for fleet management and then to define special measurement positions for fleet objects. So these are the measurement positions and this is the text here. And measurement positions are used to perform fleet object specific calculations. They are actually used as basis of analysis by the plant 
maintenance information system. So we have a sub, sub function here, counter purpose, and the purpose of this is to define usage related counters. So if we go to fuel and then we double click on counter purpose, the usage is primary fuel counter here. So, and you have a few selections here. So after defining our counters, we need to go back and define calculation method for fleet consumption values. So we go again to settings for fleet management and we want to define calculation method for fleet consumption values. So right here we have the calculation method, we have the text, we have the display unit, mouse per gallon in this case. We have the unit text, we have the fuel counter, uh, that is the information that we uh, defined in the previous screen. Then we have days short and days long. So we can go ahead and create new entries. And again, we need to populate the fields here. So the last thing that we need to do is to have a brief look at the other customizing functions. We have set field selection for specific fields in fleet management. We have set list processing for fleet management objects. And then set reference object screen for vehicles. So you can go ahead and open each of them and then you can, uh, in this case, you can go ahead and select whether you want this to be an input, whether you want it to be a required field, or a field to be displayed, or you want to hide it. So this is information we have seen earlier in our earlier videos. So you can go back and do the same to the rest of the fields here. So that is how we do customization for fleet management. Are we going to be moving on to links and networks in the next video? Thank you for watching.